Hello everybody, welcome to today's vlog. We are gonna be making a bento box for Gatsby. We have done bento boxes in the past, but I wanted to make like the ultimate bento box for Gatsby. Does that sound like a good idea? <laughs> So bento boxes usually have a lot of different variety of stuff and a lot of different colors. So that's what we want to play with is the colors. Everything has to be really small and bite-sized, not only because <laughs> it's for dogs, but that's just how it's done in these bento boxes, the Japanese bento boxes. So I think I want to make some kind of like dog-friendly sushi, like those Korean kimbap sushis that has like meat inside of it instead. Yellow would be a nice color to have, so let's do eggs. Let's do it like the Japanese style eggs, like the rolled eggs. I've never made one before, so we'll see how that goes. We always do like broccoli and stuff, so let's do green beans. Let's do like um, salmon. You used to have those salmon treats that you really like, so we can do some like air fried salmon. And Gatsby's favorite meat I think is beef. So we can do like a burger. Let's do like a, like a slider. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different things that we're gonna put inside your bento box. Are you excited for that? Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna start off by making some dog-friendly sushi. We're gonna steam the vegetables, so we just add a little bit of water, turn it on. I also have these cutouts over here. I don't know if we can use them. You need kind of large carrots for that. Thankfully, I got a super, super fat carrot. This is a pretty fat carrot. The thin part we'll use for the sushi, and the fat part will cut out some shapes. The carrot will add some nice color to the bento as well. Look how big that carrot is, Gatsby. That's huge, huh? Okay. So to julienne it, you just kind of cut it in half. We want little matches like this. Narrow coins. They, they should fit, yeah. Along with those, we're gonna do some green beans to add some green color. Steam these just for like a minute or so. This also brings out the color in the vegetables. Snap these and blanch them. Let's try this out. Come on. First, like this. Look at that! How beautiful! That's perfect. I ate the rest of this yesterday, but I saved one piece. We're just gonna put a tiny bit of butter. Gatsby smells it. He's making noises. He's like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do is the egg roll. Of course, I'm not gonna add sugar because sugar is not good for dogs. I've never made an egg roll before, so we'll see how that turns out. I bought these special Japanese eggs with the golden yolk. Excited to see. <gasps> it is golden. I watched a video on this. You usually need like a rectangle pan, but we'll see if we can do it on the first try without one. <laughs> Ah, this is hard. <laughs> it's too hot. Okay, that's gonna have to do. Can you imagine, Gatsby? That's not the correct way! Look good. Oh, it looks pretty good. Especially for like the first or second time doing it. The beef has cooled down, so what I'm gonna do is just uh, slice it up nice and thin so it'll fit inside the sushi. I also went and bought some Japanese cucumbers. So this will add a little bit of green to the sushi. Mmm. Okay. The part that has the seeds, you gotta cut that out. We want the color combination. The orange, and the green and the brown with the rice. So we have one of these sushi rolling mats here. Okay. Look at the sushi, we got it. That's cute. <laughs> okay, so next on our list, we're gonna make the chicken and the salmon. We're just gonna make them in the air fryer. Preheat. Brush olive oil over it a little bit. Italian seasoning, salt free. And I'm just going to go for 380 for, let's just say seven minutes. It should cook pretty fast. So for the hamburger patties, which I'm just gonna make tiny, tiny little sliders, we have a ground beef over here. Since the air fryer is being used, I'm just gonna fry them on the pan. 
I'm just gonna make like two hamburger patties with this. So just roll the ball. There we go. Mini patty number one. Mini patty number two. Our salmon, we're just gonna uh, brush it with a little bit of olive oil also. Okay. Salmon inside. And so this one goes in for 390 for seven minutes. Okay, not bad. We're gonna divide everything with some lettuce and we also got some um, cherry tomatoes. I'm just gonna do one because they always put a cherry tomato in to make it look good. Some people might think that tomatoes are like not good for dogs. Tomatoes are okay for dogs as long as they are fully ripe. So if they're green, not good for dogs. But if it's red, they can eat like the actual tomato, not the leaves or the stem. We'll see if Gatsby likes it. Pretty good. Look at that! We are done! The quirky bento box! Oh my gosh! That looks so beautiful. He's like, oh, oh, try the hamburger. What was that like? Is that good? He's like, oh my gosh. That is so yummy. <laughs> He's like, chicken, yes. Vegetables, no good. I'm just gonna drop it on the ground. Oh. Oh, you had the egg. What was that like? Sushi? You went straight up. Try some salmon. Here's some salmon. Okay, he wants the salmon. Oh my gosh, sushi. I think he enjoyed the bento box. Must eat everything on the ground. He's like, I must get all of the vegetables. Was that good? It was worth it, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Is it time for us to start the vlog? Hey Gatsby, do you know what we haven't done in a long time? shipping out all of the new orders for the new merchandise that we have released, including these new tie-dye t-shirts. They're super on trend. It says Kogi in Japanese. Tie-dye black, tie-dye gray, one of my favorite ones. Here's tie-dye blue. This one's already almost sold out. And we have the neon rainbow tie-dye t-shirt. Woo! In the comments below, let me know which one's your favorite one. I restocked all of the solid color Japanese corgi t-shirts, as well as the beanies, which a lot of people are asking for, and the dead hats, which I'm wearing today. So it should all be available at corgionfleek.com. Make sure if you want to get one, don't wait. These have been going super fast. Sarah is all ready for summer. She has the 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle, the tie-dye t-shirt, and she ordered the tank top as well. Thank you note. Print. Gatsby's new toy that he got in the last vlog. 
Jessica's like, oh my gosh, I'm so ready. Okay, you want it? <laughs> Dead. I just switched to my new Invisalign trays, so we gotta brush our teeth. Every two weeks I gotta switch it out, and I just switched it out so it is a little tight. To fix my bite, I would have to wear a band on my teeth here. I only have to wear it on one side. If you remember from before I got my Invisalign in, my bite was a lot larger. I had a huge open bite, but now the gap between my teeth has closed significantly. As you can see, look. These are aligner number 18 out of 41. It is super annoying. <laughs> you have to take it out every single time you eat or drink anything other than water. <laughs> Who eats water? Gatsby, I'm gonna brush you and compliment you at the same time. Hey Gatsby, you have such wonderful fur and such a beautiful smile for such a handsome corgi. You are such an intelligent dog. That's one on fleek corgi. So I thought I would just give a quick PSA because a lot of people keep asking the same question over and over again and I thought I would just show you guys. I type like everything and put all of it in the description below. So if you're like, where did you get that item? Where's the link to the recipe? What is that thing called? What is the address to the P.O. box? All of that is in the description. I'm thinking a lot of you maybe don't know how to get to the description of the video. Which is why I keep getting this asked over and over and over again. So I would just show you guys really fast. To get to the description, you click on here, on the name of the video. And once you do, it reveals to you the description of the video. And over here it has everything. It has a link to all the products found in our vlogs, our merchandise, our P.O. box, and it has a list of like everything that happens in the video. So if you want to find a specific video, you can search for it. I list everything in the video just so you can find everything. And that's how you do it. Just FYI for those wondering. I give you a corgi grade of an A+. Okay, it's time to work out. Today we're gonna be hitting some chest. Let's get started. Okay, we're done. Let's be, what's up? He's like dead. He's like, I dead. I already exercised today. Now I am headed over to grab some dinner. We're gonna splurge because I already cooked for Gatsby. <laughs> I want food for myself. We are right outside. Just placed my order. I'm just waiting inside of the car for it to be ready and I can just pick it up. Oh, thank you. Okay, I got my food. Ta-da! has all the tapioca. Boba milk tea, the best. I got oxtail udon. That looks super good. Fried chicken, boba milk tea, and we got our udon beef noodle soup here. It's gonna be so good. That was so good. And we have the fried chicken. Mmm. For this week, my friend suggested that I do a game where I draw a movie again, but do it with my eyes closed and have Sean guess it. I will do that twice with Sean and once for you guys. Go! Okay, the movie is Shrek. Am I, I don't even know if I'm drawing this on the screen. Um, yeah, this is, oh my gosh. And then he's like fat. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't even know. Okay, anyway, okay. So there's him, and then there's Donkey here. Is that on the screen? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's not bad. Okay, I think you're gonna get this because I did a pretty good job. <laughs> okay, here goes, here goes. Okay. There it is. Take a good look. I had only 30 seconds to draw. Bugs Life? Are you serious? 
It, it, it looks like a bug. I don't know what Oh my god, is. everyone's gonna be yelling at you. Shrek! Oh, <laughs> That's Donkey oh, right Donkey. there! Okay, that is what, pretty good. Yeah, that was a good drawing. I think that this one should be easier for him to get. Okay, so they look like that. He has like an eye in the center with like the strap for his goggles. Then pants here and shoes. I don't know what their legs look like. Okay, then he has arms. And then there's like hair on the top of his head. I think that's it. There, is there anything else that I'm missing? Circle, make the goggle bigger. Oh, my mouth, smile. Okay, that's it. He can guess this, that was a pretty good drawing. Okay, if you don't get this one, I don't know what, what to tell you. Here it is. Oh, that's super easy. <laughs> what is it? Minions? Yeah, we did it! Woo! I was afraid you would say something like Plankton or something. <laughs> but, yeah, that one's too easy. Uh, well, thanks for playing, Sean. <laughs> Bye! Yeah. Gatsby's like all happy. Hey, Gatsby. He's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Okay, so this one I'm gonna do for you guys. So in the comments below, write down which movie I am drawing. Ready, set, go. Okay, um. Uh, oh my gosh, this is a lot harder because I can't see what, where I'm drawing. Um. <laughs> Oh no. This is the longest 30 seconds. Okay, there it is. That's it. Oh, you guys are gonna get this. I am such a good drawer with my eyes closed. And thanks for playing with me. I love playing these drawing games. They're so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying them too because I'm doing them like every vlog. <laughs> okay, well, it's time for us to end the vlog. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, but we will see you guys soon. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure Gatsby enjoyed that bento. It was incredible. Make sure if you are interested in getting the tie-dye t-shirts, they're almost sold out. Really, it's crazy. Make sure to go to corgionfleek.com. We also have the solid colors still in stock. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Me. Now that you feel better, I want a rematch. Could this be? Ryan is challenging Gatsby 